Hey, this is James from Gaming, and I'm checking out Mer Meridian Squad 22. This is an RTS from Elder Games. It's been in early access for about four weeks now, and the it's planned to be in early access for ten weeks, so that's six weeks left. Um, I will say the developer does seem very active and passionate about this. He's um, seems to be always in the forum a lot, and this game does get regular updates. Um, last time it was updated on the 22nd of June, so 30th uh, this time of recording, and the update before that was the 15th, so fairly certain that this one will, will be finished. Um, now apparently this is a sequel to uh, Mer Meridian New World, which I haven't played, but I've played a shitload of other LTS games, so I'm uh, going to be drawing my experiences from that. Um, anyway, let's get into the game. As you can see, well, first thing you might notice is there is no multiplayer. This is a single-player focused game, but there are, uh, there are a few modes, as we can see here. It's a bit confusing, you need to go into new games to get to the other modes. So we have campaign, squad missions and conquest. Unfortunately squad missions uh, is still in development. I should mention what they've... So what's in the game so far is 6 campaign missions and conquest. And what plans to be finished, uh, what, what's going to be in the game when it's finished, is a full, is a full campaign and um, squad missions available and completed conquest um, which I played a bit of conquest but not a whole lot because uh, so I don't know how much of that isn't actually finished yet anyway uh, we'll start with conquest because that's the closest thing to a skirmish there is so what this this reminds me of is kind of like a lesser um, like the conquest in Command and Conquer 3, Kane's Wrath, and that was kind of uh, derived from Total War, uh, the Total War game. So, not wholly original this, but yeah, basically this is my territory here, and now this is the actually not the enemy's territory. I think this is all neutral, but if we switch view here, this is pretty sure like this is the enemy, and we're both trying to get to each other. So I can choose to attack one of these. Uh, I'll probably go for an easy one just to, um, just so I don't, just so I don't mess it up. So, and each one of these is basically like a skirmish. So, as you can see right away, it's pretty much StarCraft <laughs> when it comes to the resources. Anyway, you have your drones and your your shardiums, as they're called. So, we'll build a few more. Here, my units down here. We'll go and get a canister. I'll explain more about that bit later. You can see in the top right we have, th we have actually have three resources. Um, Shardiums, which used to build units and resources. Build units and resources. Units and buildings. I really should tidy this up. And um, you have your power and food, which is basically a pop cap. And power is basically like a pop cap for buildings. Looks like Command & Conquer if you've played that. Anyway, let's build the barracks now we, while we're at it. Not storage, uh, barracks. No, that's the barracks. There you go. Yeah, I should get my guys to... You know, I'm going to get one of them to stay here and one of them to go out. Yeah, control groups work pretty much as they should be. Hold, control... Hold, control... Select the unit, hold, control, select the unit, press the number and... That's in the control group. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't actually say the numbers what the control groups are. That's quite unfortunate. But yeah. Anyway, what did I set this guy? I think it was five. There you go. So our barracks is built. Let's get some more troopers. Yeah. Um. Fortunately, each unit seems to just cost one food, which um. So there's not really any incentive to go for like a vehicle or an infantry unit so it's kind of boring oh shit our enemies are there <laughs> so, well now we know that I really am not being as quick as I should be I still want to go to factory we need a power plant the idea of the power plant yeah you can't build buildings literally if you don't have enough power, so it's, it's literally like a pop cap for buildings. Squad 22 at your service. Right away. 
Hey, got four troopers now. Yes. Now I'll talk. Oh, we have another cancer down there. I really should be getting him. Yeah, you really need a dedicated unit to look at look after the cancers because that's actually how you um, upgrade in tech. So it shall talk about now. If you click here, this is your research. It's like quite RPG-ish, really. You have like um, combat canisters, economy, economy, economy canisters, and defense canisters. And each research costs a few of each. Like infiltrator costs, if you can see in the bottom right, costs two combat and one economy. So you really want to always have someone scouting around, looking for more. And that's how you take up. So, and in Conquest, it always carries over, like you, at the end of each mission, you, uh, have some, <laughs> you have to, you know, you have the same combat research in each mission, yeah. Hey, I can build my war, war factory, this isn't Commander Conquer. Just, let's go, just the factory in this. Actually, no, you can keep tucking him. Tuck him. These are anti infantry, but they work pretty well against vehicles. Uh, I've only got two left there, actually. I shouldn't. Oh, yeah, when it comes to how resources are spent, if you cook a. If you start building something, it will immediately deduct how many resources it is. Like So that's 85. It will deduct 85. Actually, now we'll can demonstrate with this. Yeah, so 135 takes away 135. But if you do another one, it won't take it away. So it only deducts the amount of what you're currently building, if that makes sense. Right, you can get back to harvesting resources. Hey, you know what? I'm sure I. Storage capacity increase. <gasps> oh, I haven't been building st more storage. I should be doing that. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, building construction storage will get you get you more shardiums, allow you to collect more shardiums. I also I need a factory to build some more storage though. Yeah, I've noticed you cap out very easily in this. Um, as far as I can see, there's no way to increase food. Actually, it probably is. It's probably in here somewhere. Food production. There you go. Shardian mines can produce an additional two food. Okay. Anyway. Let's get to attacking. Oh no, they have anti air units. They have air units. I need anti air units. I've not actually come across them yet. That's kind of new for me. Um, I, I haven't actually seen any anti air units, so that's quite worrying. And this, all units are also anti air. Oh, they're gone. Okay. Yeah, so I don't really see any reason not to keep producing chimeras since infantry, they're of course, the same food. And these are anti infantry. Well, I guess um, these are more troopers, are more anti vehicles. So there's that. Oh dear. That is a Crusader. That is more anti vehicle. So that's not good. Right. Get to it. Eh, yeah, not, not doing that much more damage actually. Ah, there you go, now I've got more Shardium capacity. Yeah, as it is, I can't really build any more buildings. I've switched a turret centre, but that... that well, at least one turret research. What else have we got? Uh, shipyard and landing pad. Nothing about. Hmm. Nothing about increasing food. Oh well. Okay. Consider it done. Ah, I'm not really getting anywhere here. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about healing. Yeah, if you press F4, no click here. Press your support power to heal all your units. It seems like you just get that no matter what. I don't know if there are any other support powers. I've not come across them yet. That's the only one I've seen so far. Oh, got to stop them from building that. And you guys attack the, attack the building, attack the vehicle there. There you go. Wait, right, I've got them. Ow. Hey. You go after him, you go after the vehicle. Let's add him. Yeah, so nothing too new except like f compared to other RTSs except for the production. I really do like this. And I haven't had someone look for canisters. <laughs> yeah, you really need to do that and I haven't been doing that. Here's a null resource. Yeah, I should I should be get on that. Actually, no, I don't have enough. You need 700 to build another Shardium mine, but yeah, you can build them wherever there's more Shardiums. Again, very Starcraft, very Starcrafty. Huh, I thought if you destroy the, I think you just need to destroy all major buildings to win. Don't need to worry about the power. Yes, sir. Anyway, I don't think they've got any units left. So yeah, while they're doing that, we'll just uh, look for more canisters. Hey, here's one. And another one down there. Let's get you. Luckily, um, if you once you win, you can actually stay and collect small, ca like explore, collect all the canisters. If you missed any, it doesn't like immediately exit, which is a good idea. Oh, do they have another base somewhere? I'm sure, you don't need to destroy all the power plants. Oh, there you go. You, there you see, you con conquered this territory, you're free to stay and collect any remaining samples. So, let's see what else we can find. Can I upgrade anything? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Infiltrator... Hawk Fighter. There again, I can't build an air pad or the V8 yet. I don't, don't know if I can, anyway. Cyclone, versatile naval attacker. Maybe if I research that, I can immediately build an air thing. Can't build the act. Riz. Oh, at least one. Yeah, turret research. So because I, I guess that means if I research something in turrets, I can get a turret center, and if I research something in ships, you can get a shipyard. And the same with the uh, landing pad. So yeah, I can build their units now. Consider it done. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I think that's all the canisters there are. Uh... What's the plan? Oh, one more over here. Let's move out. Hopefully you guys are closer. Ready. See who gets there first. Sure. I oh, know he's definitely definitely not gonna get there. Copy that. Consider it done. Okay. Let's get out of here now. Oh. Hey, so, they've got some free ones here. Basically, here go here to get resources. So, that's it. It's also maybe conquer it and get all the resources. Let's do it here as well. I think the only the trouble with that is it gives the enemy a free turn. So, you gotta watch out. Also, um, interesting when you're on this map is apart from like battlefield research, you can also do uh, conquest research, which unfortunately I don't have any more, which uses the same canisters the same things ah uh, wait 
Why can't I get this one? Oh, maybe because I need that one first. Yeah, I guess you need to uh, go in the tree. So, yeah. That's a uh, conquest. Let's um, do a bit of campaign now. I'm on the uh, mission two, so not too far in it yet. I actually had to, had to go at this and I <laughs> and I failed, so let's hope I do better this time. Yes, so, uh, oh, some canisters here. Unfortunately, yeah, so it turns out there are like three main characters in this and they're all playable. On this I've got, on this mission they've got one, this guy here. And unfortunately, as soon as any one of them dies, you, uh, you know, you lose the mission. So you need to constantly, constantly be babysitting, make sure they don't die, because they're not that tough. I mean, it seems to die as much as the regular troops. So that is kind of annoying. Oh, yeah, and the research you get on this isn't the same as uh, Conquest, as you can see. But again, they do carry over between missions. Consider it done. Collect the shardium we need to repair the ship. Hey, you got some Crusaders there. Uh, so I mean, there's three. You guys can get this one down here. There you go. You guys can get these up. Yeah, I need to be a bit quicker here. Yeah, fortunately the Shardians are all the way down here in this mission. So these guys are anti-tank. Or are they anti-vehicle? Well, anti-armor. You know what I mean. But why are you going there? You need to get down here. There you go. Yes, you need to get a lot of these guys. Get another chimera. Your command. Yeah, I don't have much support down here actually. Sure thing. Let's do this. So I can't build a oh yeah, I think I needed to research to build a crusader. Uh where was it? Shit. I'm sure I researched Crusader from here. Hawk Fighter, Cyclone. Gun upgrade. Huh. Oh, well, let's get a. Uh... Oh, since this, is def since this is a defensive mission, I'll get one of these. And storage. No, not storage capacity. Mine production. The name of Shard Mines. This provides a slow but steady income of Shardium, which is sounds very handy. But yeah, I can't see. This is really weird. I did this just now and I saw I could research um, guardians. I think that's what they're called anyway. Crusader. But now I can't. Cries Research Crusader. I already researched that. Sure I did. Your command. Tumera report. Receiving. Yeah. Anyway. All right. uh, let's get another camera down there. Yeah, you uh, you need to buy me to be defending this guy more than anything. So you stay up there. Uh, again, other resources really slowly. I oh, need to mine the maximum of two thousand eight hundred shardium. That's gonna take a while. Oh, and I've. Reach my food limit. So I wonder if he's searching this. It does give me more. For some reason, I thought it meant I need to build a building that gives me more. Oh, no. oh, here we go. Ah, uh, we're alright. Good for you. I won't check that now.
Yeah, I really wanna look shoddy in mine on there. I got 700, so it's gonna take a while. I do have the power though. I have the power. So that's good. Ready. Let's heal this guy now. Uh, should that be another Chimera? I think we're pretty good. We've got a scavenger here to collect some spice shardium. Don't know what a scavenger is. Oh shit. They nearly done. Yeah, these guys aren't very strong, the Crusaders. Oh, got my healing ready. There you go. Tell me where to go. Fortunately, you can't get them to face anywhere. He's dead already. Like, Here face a certain direction after you've given them orders. Let's move out. I've not seen anyway, anyway. Anyway, that you can. Let's get another Chimera here. Right, what's going on down there? Hey, no, 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 no! Ah, oh, crap, see? That's really annoying. That's why it's so annoying, because it's so easy for them to die. Anyway, you don't want to... You don't want to see me do that again. Um, it's a shame, because uh, there was someone else I would show you, but I'll talk about... Because between missions, like, you return to the ship, and you can, like, move your... Move the main character around. And you can, like, talk to people, and there are, like, dialogue choices, kind of like Monkey Island. Um, so that is pretty cool. That's not something... We've, uh, quite new to RTS games. Yeah, so this is Meridian Squad 22 so far. i say overall, it doesn't break any new ground really. Um, if you're a casual RTS player, it might be fun. Um, uh, I said, I really like the tech upgrade up, uh, thing. I think that's a lot of fun. And, uh, but I can't help imagining how much more fun it would be in multiplayer, like trying to race for resources. Uh, you know, like um, canisters. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, see you next time.